Hey guys, what's up? So uh, we're continuing going through front-end development questions that you're normally going to uh, get when you go for a job uh, as a web developer or front-end developer. Uh, my name is Jake and um, I've got a company called JumpJet and basically that's what we do. We, we help you prepare for uh, job interviews as web developers. And let's jump straight into it. There's plenty more videos, but uh, this one is about the script tags and also the script tag attributes, which are defer and async. So to begin with, you've got, you'll see here on the screen, you've got the script tag. This uh, is a, a tag you can put into your HTML and there's two ways to use it. One is you can write some uh, JavaScript inside the script tag, uh, but that's kind of like the old school way of doing things. The, the new model is generally that you will use a source attribute on that script tag, uh, and you'll link to a script that you want to import into your page. So that's what the script tag does. Um, but there are, there's something to know about the script tag, and this is probably a question that you'll get: is what are the differences between a normal script tag uh, or one with uh, the attributes of defer or async? Now you'll see here that when uh, the HTML page or the, sorry, the browser is passing the HTML page. When it comes to a script tag, it actually pauses passing the page and it looks at the, the source attribute. It goes off, it requests that file, it waits for it to download and then it executes it. So what happens is that the script tag is what they call blocking. It will block the passing of the HTML page, which is not a very good user experience. So more recently with HTML5 and modern browsers, we've actually got a couple of different options, which are the uh, async and defer attributes. So here you'll see the, uh, an example of the script tag with the async attribute. So this is a little bit more advanced than the normal uh, vanilla script tag. What happens is that this will tell the browser while it's passing the HTML to uh, asynchronously go off and fetch that file and then the the uh, browser will continue to pass the HTML until that file is downloaded at which point when it's downloaded the uh, the browser will execute the tag um, so this is like a little bit better because it's not blocking um, the passing of the HTML entirely but there are a couple of things uh, to keep in mind is that let's say, for example, that you had uh, like uh, jQuery and a couple of maybe animation libraries or something on your, uh, your web page that require jQuery. What happens is with the async, there's no rule as to um, which script is download, downloaded first and the browser will just execute whatever code arrives back first. So it could look for three files, one of them being jQuery. It could end up getting one of the animation libraries first and start executing that, which is gonna cause an error because that file actually needs jQuery to kind of exist in the browser, uh, which it doesn't. So um, that means that the script async tag is not foolproof. It's better than using the script tag, but it's not foolproof, which is why we have the third version which is the script defer. This gives you the best of both worlds. What happens is that when you have the script defer, uh, the browser will encounter that. It goes, okay, I have to go get some, um, get some files. It's gonna asynchronously run off and start downloading them. Then when it's uh, received the files, it will actually start executing them in order, but after it's passed the HTML page. So what that means is it doesn't block uh, the browser from rendering the HTML and CSS first before it starts executing the scripts, which is generally what you want. You want the website to load and appear to load uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, and that's what the scripts defer um, tag does. So I've got a couple of other things uh, to go into with that. Um, the there is something to note that the script with the defer attribute um, will wait for the HTML page to be passed 
but it, it won't execute sorry it does execute the scripts before the dom content loaded event um so that's something that you you keep in mind um the browser support for defer and async is is reasonably good with the newer browsers but if you need to support legacy browsers i.e like 10 or 9 or before that for sure uh, opera mini as well uh, don't support the async or defer tags so you've got to double check when you're writing a project um, yeah, you've got to keep that in mind. And you'll see here, I always like to uh, check with caniuse.com because you can see what the browser support is like for certain you know, attributes or CSS um, rules or what have you. So that's always really useful. Um, here's a, another um, kind of overview of the different ways that the, the script tags will work with the different attributes. There's a couple that we didn't cover, but you, um, you may not be asked that. And, it's always good to do some more research. Uh, okay, so finally, you would think that, okay, since we have uh, async, but that is still blocking, and then we have defer, you, you might wonder like, why would I ever use async? Like defer is just automatically better. But that's not necessarily true. You might have a certain library or, or JavaScript um, code that you don't, um, it doesn't have to be triggered in sequence. Uh, a good example of that might be, say, Google Analytics. When I have Google Analytics on my page, I don't really mind um, when it fires and it doesn't rely upon um, other code. So something like Google Analytics, uh, that's something you might just use the async uh, tag with. Uh, and I had one other thing I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, it used to be common uh, practice that because of the uh, the blocking nature of script tags that you would put the script tag at the end of the the body in the HTML but with defer and with async we don't actually need to do that anymore so you can uh, put your script tags in the head of the HTML but just make sure that you're not blocking the rest of the page that you you've uh, kind of looked into which tag and which attribute uh, you should use, uh, and then it's fine. You can put your script tags in the uh, the head of the HTML. Okay, so hopefully that gives you you know a good basic overview of the difference between the vanilla script tag and the script tag with the uh, defer and async attributes. Um, definitely do more research, but if you give an answer somewhere along those lines in an interview, uh, they'll know that you know what you're talking about to an extent and um, they'll feel pretty comfortable that you've done some, uh, some research. So I hope that that helps someone out there uh, and good luck with your job interviews. Feel free to comment or subscribe or even ask for a, a particular um, question that you like answered. Uh, cool, so good luck.